The ride didn't even feel awful. I got here, I went to the grocery store, and I absolutely want to take a nap. I've got my little tea, so I'm going to finish some homework. But I got a pretty good way through of Crime and Punishment. I'm on part three now, um, and I think I have like maybe 10 or 11 hours left. I think tomorrow I want to go book shopping. It is not my typical book, but I want to go get beach read so bad because my goal is to read the whole thing laying on the beach. But tonight's gonna be chill. I got some sushi, I got my books, so it's gonna be a good time. Said that it was supposed to be cloudy today which it's not right now fingers crossed it stays like that but i'm debating if i want to drive all the way to this bookstore to try and find beach read just because it's like 30 minutes away okay it's not super warm outside and with the wind it's like a little chilly so i think i'm gonna just go for a walk down the beach until i feel warm enough
came back and changed because I was gonna go to the store because it was kind of chilly outside and it was just like super overcast. Tell me why. It's sunny now and warm. So I think I'm gonna go to the pool. might be developing a small hoarding issue but you know what no because i am at least starting all of these while i'm here uh, okay uh i did not on their plate if they have finished something else like they have to eat things one at a time when i read books i'm the exact opposite of that for some reason it makes me feel so productive if i read like one chapter of a book and then rotate so here we are so fun fact if you didn't see the video where i bought this book this is my first manga book but i'm also really scared to bring this to the beach because i don't want to mess up all the pages because they're really pretty and it's like a hardback and everything so i'm just gonna read it up here but yeah it's the vinland saga a girl at work that i'm friends with recommended this to me um because she said that it's super good and there's like 20 plus of these i think and they're still writing them so very on brand my bookmark is my luggage pickup receipt from some flight that I took. I'm 
This is like an obnoxious sized bowl. But the little ones just, it like didn't fit. Also, my new obsession is frozen blueberries. I am exactly 50 pages into Beach Read. Super cute. Questionable fashion sense though. place that has that has like smoothie bowls and coffee and like beachy food and it's like two miles down the road so i was thinking why not just take a walk there take like a little stroll i've been reading a lot of beach read i'm like a third of the way through it so i'm gonna be reading a lot of this <laughs> tacos for lunch so bad yesterday and I went down and they were sold out so I'm gonna try again today fingers are crossed this is the fit and honestly I'm kind of feeling a nighttime beach walk the bag just like I ended up getting a nachos I'm not sure. oh, they're a little squished to the side my dad chef's kiss Luxury. Yum. Wait, hold on. Fancy. This was literally like a dollar. And maybe 
some change. This tastes like high C. Cool, I guess. unfortunately time for me to go do i have a dimple i've literally never had a dimple in my life it's cute though i think it's just the lighting i don't think we're ever gonna see her again she's never gonna make another appearance let me wrap things up for you i finished not only finally girl with the dragon tattoo but i also finished beach read i read it in two days i have a reading vlog for it if you want to watch it I started to get into the bulk of Throne of Glass and I read the first chapter, AKA almost first hundred pages of the Vinland Saga. I started Gentle and Lowly. I did not start Outlander at all. <laughs> I haven't even taken the sticker off of it yet, but we're not gonna talk about it. Um, but I should probably start on this soon. Maybe I'll start on it like when I get home today or something. But I would probably give beach read and the girl with the dragon tattoo and both four stars just because the girl with the dragon tattoo there was like a few scenes that were like super super graphic with like sexual assault that i don't know in my opinion i guess didn't really enjoy reading even though that is like real life and everything and stories like that do need to be told as far as like awareness i just feel like you can have that in the story without having to like graphically explain it i guess which i've heard that outlanders kind of like that but i'm glad that i'm going into this knowing that that's a possibility that one i went in completely blind so i guess my be on that um, but the story, I get why it was super hyped. I get why there's a movie. Like, it was really good. Beach Read was good. At the very end, there was, like, one thing that I was like, meh. Okay. <laughs> but the rest of it was really cute, and it was, like, the perfect Beach Read. Um, the ambiance. So, yeah, this was nice. I was literally here for, like, three days, but I obviously got a lot of reading done. Um, and nothing else, so now I'm gonna go back and have, like, a mountain of homework. But I'm not gonna think about it yet. Oh, and I listened, I've listened to, like, hours of Carmen Punishment now. Um, dude's, dude's crazy. And I'm waiting for him to murder again. Mm -hmm.
or get caught. <laughs> I'm waiting for the punishment side. I've seen the crime. I'm waiting for the punishment. Until next time, I guess.